All right, hello everybody, Mark McGurin here, wanting to do a quick video on the Fly Sky Noble NB4. Um, this was, I found out about this radio from Alex Fira. I saw it and I was like, man, that looks gorgeous. What do you think about it? He loved it, okay? <clears throat> and then what was even better is this is going to retail for around $179. The great news about that is it's going to come with two receivers. The receivers look identical to the Sanwa's 482 case. I don't have those with me right now. They're actually out the track, but I wanted to guys show you this. I'm gonna set this guy down and, and kind of give you a brief talk about what I like about this. So let's see if we can figure this out. First things first, the battery. It's actually got two batteries, right? So you got this detachable battery right here. It looks like kind of just a uh, one you'd take home on a portable battery. It connects up there. You can actually charge your own phone or anything like that from this USB port. You'll charge it from this guy. Um, it comes with, I don't know if you can see that S, but it comes with two different grips. You can go from there, but it is super duper like one thing that I love, and especially if you left these like this, check this out, boom. Right, you pull. You can pull it all the way to the side, and it's got literally almost the exact. Actually, it does have the exact same controls, right here. If you're left-handed, so me personally, I took it out yesterday, and I kind of liked it right here. This has got some really nice tension to it, so it doesn't move super easy. Okay, and so it's got different springs you can use to help adjust this. One thing I did notice out of the box this uh the radio the the circle or the, the wheel excuse me has got a little more tension than my uh, m12 srs and so i'm going to change that spring out to go from there but it's got some adjustable guys here these guys here but let me talk to you about this is cool you know one thing if you guys with anybody with sam Ooh, did you hear that talks to you right one thing with the Sanwa is the pain in the butt of filtering through what's happening. This is the main screen. It's gonna tell you, you can adjust what sensors are. Oops, oh, touch screen, obviously. You get your RX, it's cannot connect to anything. It's in my model of my 21.5 touring car. My transmitter battery is full percent. Now, if I wanted to lock this so I wouldn't touch anything, I'm gonna press this button right here. Let's go to the settings. Take a look at this. It is super easy, right? If I wanna do my EPA, click on my EPA, go from there, I'm on my left side, boom, right there. Yes, I know on my left and right, I gotta center up my, my servo better, but that's off throttle. Super, super easy to do. If you wanna adjust that, like if I'm on the right that I said, I can go here, I click this button here, super, super easy, okay? Backspace, it's vibrating as you can hear. Um, again, you got exponential. You got throttle exponential, ABS. You got a timer, which is really, really slick. So you wanna get out there on the track and you know it'll go off for you if you wanna drive for five minutes instead of you know get that consistency down. Uh, now, check this out. Remember, you're trying to sit there and go, what button's what? Take a look at this. This tells you exactly how to adjust all your little front buttons, right? That you can adjust from here, 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 this guy here, right? Uh, this guy over here, man, I tell you what, this is super simple. So this TR4, right? I clicked on that guy and I wanted to, wanted, I wanted to do my brake dual rate. I run a lot of 21.5, two in car USGT. I don't want much brake or if I do hit the brake, I don't want it to lock up. So I just use that as normal. Again, super easy. If I wanted to go from a deal, right? This is scrollable uh, from there. Now, one thing I did notice, if I wanted to talk about it, it's not as smooth as say your iPhone or Android. Right, so it's a little bit of a delay. Like, so with the iPhone, you know, this is dragging with you. If you can see that delay, not a big deal because you're not gonna be using it like an iPhone, right? To bind it up, super easy, right? So here, you click on that, you click bind with the receiver. The receiver, again, has got a little jumper. The one thing that I wish it would kind of have would be the little bind button, not that big a deal. You put the jumper on there, um, super, super easy, right? It says your battery monitor, It's you can do a low signal, uh, alarm, or you can update your receiver. Now that's the cool thing about this is, is that you can do firmware updates super duper easy on their website, okay? System's gonna be your units, backlight adjustment, channel number. You want that sound, you want that vibration. Cool thing is you wanna change your LEDs. Man, you like blue, now I'm blue. You want yellow, I got yellow, right? So 
my my screen is green so i like that green all right pretty cool stereo i can change my brightness at that point again super super easy um again my steering speed throttle speed brake mix engine i don't deal with that i'm all electric hey if i'm on a boat cool uh oops one more and then here are your instructions how do i use this boom built in to the thing you can scroll here do the mobile app it's going to go from there to take you to the mobile app uh here's your instructions again takes you to that no searching no anything like that again the throttle okay let me show you this guy is just how i like it okay one thing it does have let's see if we can get this focused in yep it is focused see that little guy there that can tighten your throttle as well as tighten your steering wheel now i did try to tighten this guy up or loosen it up it was just too loose uh that spring's a little more snug than i like so i'm gonna change that spring it just didn't get quite to the uh where i wanted again that is all personal preference my throttle i mean it's a hair looser than my sanwa i mean i'm talking a hair not enough i did take this out one thing i want you to know is i did take this out i ran it uh, my Sanwa M12 SRS with my touring cars. I went and ran it, right? I wanted to see how the latency was. I wanted to see what's going on. Went and ran it with my Sanwa. Back to back, change it out. Soft tires, change battery, bound the receiver. Again, super duper easy. Ran it, running the exact same lap times. It did take me a couple laps just to get the feel of the trigger. All right, and the trigger, I'm sorry, the trigger and the steering wheel. So that did take me a couple laps. So once I kind of felt that, right? It's kind of like borrowing someone's radio. You're gonna take it for a couple laps and you're like, wait, okay, got the feel. That's ultimately what it was. It was a different feel. I tried it, liked it, loved it. Now, again, really cool, you lefties. This is gonna be your perfect fit, okay? And again, the quality, right? This has just the same feel, quality, as my uh, Sanwa. Okay, uh, this this is a metal battery, plastic casing, right? Super nice, and it's super light. I don't know the exact uh, weight of it, but it's lighter than the Sanwa and the balance, right? So that, that M12 is it's a touch heavier on the top. Man, with this guy down at the bottom, this sucker is, I mean, I don't know if I could do that. But again, you get the idea. It's pretty balanced. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Again, I didn't have a plan for this to show it, but I just wanted to give you my two cents on this guy. I think this has the potential to disrupt the radio market rather than spend five, six hundred dollars on a Sanwa and then another hundred bucks on a receiver, you're seven hundred dollars in, right? Not including tax. You get this guy for $179, two receivers, and it's got this isn't scaled down, y'all. This is not like a, a base entry level. This is their top of the line, right? And it's got all the features you want and then some. And I, what is it, a third of the price? I think this has a really good chance of disrupting the market. I love mine. Again, taking it out once. I, I highly recommend it. Super great product. And I can't wait for more firmware updates and just to get this thing to get even better. So there we go. Uh, Take a look at the Noble NB4, the letter N, B as in boy, four. Do a quick go Google search. It's Fly Sky RC as the website. Um, so yeah, that's my two cents. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one.